Hi, everybody. All right, today I have a, a kind of an unusual haul. Um, <clears throat> so last night, so today is September 28th, it's Saturday. Um, last night when I got home, um, I was on Facebook and I saw that somebody had posted in my hometown's um, Facebook group that this was happening. So <clears throat> it's Memphis. It's a stamp and postcard show. So it's going on today and tomorrow. And um, it's here in my hometown. And I'd never seen um, them do one of these before. So I was kind of excited. Um, so yeah, so I went after I had gone to the bin store. And it was like really not that far, about two blocks from the bin store. So, um, and it was over at the public library in the, um, well, it's not at the library. It's more like the municipal, oh, I can't even say it. It's like this extra space that they have that they use for the uh, annual book sale for the library. And, you know, I, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know there's going to be a lot of vendors or what. So I drove up there and there weren't really a lot of cars, but, you know, I thought, well, that's good because then it's not going to be crowded like at the book sale. Um, so went in and, um, noticed that it was a lot of senior citizens, <laughs> which is fine. You know, so when I went up to the table at the entrance, it's, a, it's free to the public, you know, they have you, um, sign, um, sign in to get on the guest list and stuff. And, um, they had, uh, they gave me a, the flyer and then they had these little packets, um, right by the, um, right on the table. And, you know, they encouraged you to take one, right? So the lady um, told me to go ahead and, and pick, you know, get one. And then I was like, oh, they're free? And she goes, yeah, actually, go ahead and take two. So I went ahead and picked up two. And I didn't realize when I just grabbed two that the one, first one I grabbed was there's 50 U.S. ones in here and then 50 international ones. And I thought, that's really nice. You know, you get free stamps at a stamp show. So um, I got those. And then I went to the um, first table and it was all stamps right but everything's kind of like in albums and like these are serious collectors you know they had like the little tongs to pick them up they had like the magnifying you know glasses and all that stuff I mean those yeah they were pretty serious and then the next table that I went to was the one that I was kind of like excited about which was a table full of postcards and these are all vintage postcards so it turns out the guy that was running the table um, is an actual seller that lives here in my hometown he primarily sells on eBay he said so I proceeded to go ahead and start on the first bin and um, <clears throat> on the first like bins that he had were like everything was three dollars and they were sorted by states and so um, first thing I did was go through the California ones, right? And so these are the ones that I found, okay? So um, everything, actually, hold on here. Is this the right stack? No, it's not the right stack. I pulled the wrong one out. Um, everything that was $3 had a little green dot on the back of it. Where is it? <laughs> Did I mix everything up? I probably did. Uh, okay. So, yeah, they were all in these little sleeves. Hold on. Because um, he had bins that had $3, and then he had bins that had $1 um, postcards. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to put these to the side. So I went through all the California ones, and I found specifically i was looking for san francisco ones and you know this is what i found so this is a great one of chinatown okay and it even has writing a lot of these do have writing so this one was somebody had wrote and sent in 1941 okay so um yeah from ethel to helen in cleveland um i like that she's i'm a, i'm on the plane now about one hour from los angeles and my brother visited, I don't know what that is, something, some church this morning. They were, they, this morning, and they entertained me for dinner and sightseeing and thought of you while I looked at, I guess, while, 
part of you would like this picture of the Chinese people in costume. So I love that, you know, these are actual postcards that people sent out. So, um, yeah. Then I've got this one of the cable car turnaround. And um, I like this because the fact that this is the Powell and Market turnaround. And um, also uh, just to see what build, how the buildings look back then. Now, I used to take this cable car when I lived in San Francisco. I used to take this cable car um, at night when on my way home from um, the, um, what was it? This, you know, the San Francisco city college of San Francisco. Cause I used to take classes there and, you know, I would take Bart and then, um, yeah, I would take Bart to the Powell station and then ride the cable car home because by then there aren't as many tourists. And I think when I was taking the classes, it was in the fall. So yeah, there weren't as many tourists at night and it was faster to take the cable car than to take the bus because there's not as many stops. Right. And it let off like literally like outside of my apartment in North Beach. So, um, so yeah, I, that's the reason why I bought this card. So this one is the Japanese tea garden that's in um, San Francisco's, um, oh great, Golden Gate Park. And I've only been there once. So this is really beautiful. I like the way that this looks. We've got the Cliff House, which I've actually never been to. Um, I've always like heard about it and seen pictures, but yeah, this one was 1907. Isn't that amazing? And then we've got here a postcard about the earthquake in 1906. And look at that. So somebody sent this in 1912. I also, what I also like is looking at the handwriting back then, you know, it's beautiful. Then we've got the sea lions over at, um, or the seals at the cliff house or near the cliff house then we've got um i'll get to those let's see were those all the san francisco ones yeah so then i also picked up two postcards from the louisiana <laughs> um section so these are new orleans mardi gras and i just love the way this looks especially this one right here you know so these don't have anything written on them and then um, they also had, aside from the states, they had a bunch of postcards that were um, by theme. And so you had, you could choose from like um, children, you know, like it would say children's greetings or happy birthday to like the holidays, you know, Christmas and then religious Christmas. Right. So I had gotten these and these were, were they $3? No, these were, I think a dollar. I think they were a dollar. Yeah. So, um, I got this one cause I love this look and it's embossed, you know, you can tell cause look at the back here and this was from 1912. Isn't that amazing? So we got that, this one right here, joyous Christmas. I hope that there's not a glare as I'm showing this, I'm kind of tilting it so you can see better. This one is, um, C city hall in San Francisco. And then we've got, I don't know why that's mixed up with it, <laughs> that we've got this one here. I picked this because I don't know why, but it reminded me of the, ho of the apartment that my parents lived in when I was a baby in Chicago. Um, I don't think they actually have, I don't think there's any pictures, but the way that they, des they described it, um, this is, you know, this is kind of like what I pictured. Um, I have only a very, very vague memory of that apartment. And you know, it's, you're going to laugh, but the only memory I have of that apartment was the radiator by the window. I don't know. I never, I just have this memory of like, my mom had like a pan of water on the radiator, you know? Um, so yeah, so that's the reason why I picked that card. And then we've got this one right here and I love this image and I like that it had the writing on here under the missile bow. Let's see, I don't know what year that was. And then we've got this one. I love the look of this. It's really, really pretty. It's so vintagey, 1912. So, you know, I wondered, cause look, oh, there we go. So 66 Polk street in Gary, Indiana. I wonder if that still is around. Um, but we've got this Christmas postcard here from 1912 going to looks like Columbus, Ohio. And then this one right here with the birds. And I don't know what year, 1914. 
And then we've got this one right here. Nineteen nineteen, and then I found a lot of like the floral ones, and yeah, so this one is all embossed and foiled. So this was, I think, yeah, it looks like it was mailed out, but it's it's already faded. And then these two, I was so happy to find because they're obviously a, like a set. There might have been more. This was from nineteen ten, going to Farmington, Iowa. Then this one. Then we've got this one, Love's Offerings with the two birds. Really, really pretty. That looks like it says 1998, but I don't think so, unless that's 1898. And then this one, this one's German, but still, it's um, embossed. 1912 and then this one also <laughs> I know it's kind of weird like out of all that and then you get to the cactus I just like the cactus because we um I've gone through Arizona three times like um driving to California so I wanted to get this because it just remind me right it reminded me of that trip okay and then yeah so did I show this joyous Christmas and then a joyful Christmas and they do have writing on the back. I don't know what. This one's from Hardy, Arkansas. So it's kind of close to me. I mean, it's Arkansas. And then we have these right here. Um, this one's a California yard of flowers. And then um, I did find more of like San Francisco. And these were in the dollar ones. So this is Coit Tower. That's kind of near where I lived. And this is a great place to go if you want to get like a panoramic view of San Francisco and the Bay and like looking the other way to Oakland. So that's another nice one of Legion of Honor Museum. Um, I finally got to go last year um, on my last visit to San Francisco. Beautiful museum. Um, the grounds are also beautiful and there's a really great view um, to this side of the Bay. Um, I don't think you can see the Golden Gate. I can't remember because my friend Roberto took me. We drove. Where do we drive? We drove a little bit further somewhere and then we were able to see um, the Golden Gate. But yeah, really great place. I did. I took a lot of pictures of him in the museum and then like around it, too. Then we've got um, what is this Union Square? In San Francisco still kind of looks the same same the ho this hotel is still there um it's changed somewhat but I I didn't go on my last visit I mean I didn't really have a purpose to go um so yeah and then this is the old bay bridge um they have completely put up a new bridge now which is nicer um but yeah this is the old one um and then we've got an old style you know California um postcard another one of Coit Tower but I like this one because this looks almost like a painting right it's on Telegraph Hill and then this one is also of Civic Center and then the waterfront of San Francisco old style okay so those were from the dollar bins and the three dollar bin sorry so these were from the 25 cent bin. Yeah, he had some bins that were 25 cents. Oh, this is the name of the guy, right? So there are some dollar ones. I only got, um, I think these. So I like these because they were really, really old style, like pictures, right? And I think this is Naples. Oh, I think it is, but I love the deckled edge, right? And that looks like it could be a volcano, but it's just beautiful. And then I also found these, these three, they're so cute, right? They were a dollar also. There's no writing on the back, but they're just adorable. So <clears throat> now with the 25 cent bins, the guy, uh, the seller, he'd asked me what I collect. And I told him, well, I don't really have like a particular thing. I just collect whatever, you know, I, that catches my eye. And I told him, you know, I like to 
do kind of like collage work, kind of junk journaling kind of thing. And so he said that the 25 cent um, bins were specifically for people like that because they're, you know, they're damaged. And I mean, he can get rid of a lot of them by just selling them that cheap. And it's usually those type of people, he said, that are the ones that, you know, go for <laughs> The cheap ones, the cheap postcards. So I did find this, which is adorable. And it does have writing on the back. Okay. I like this one because it's kind of faded, but, you know, kind of watercolory. My birthday wish. And then there's writing, 1914. Look at how beautiful that is. You can tell that this person used a fountain pen. Just the way that how smoothly, you know, you can tell from the way she wrote. And then we've got this New Year's one, adorable. And again, it's written on the back, 1916. It's got this birthday wishes one. I love this. I don't know what year this is. And then I found like this uh, Grand Canyon one so I can give it to my nieces. And then this one is the Redwoods, right? Is it the Redwoods? Yes. So like close to San, well, it's saying that it's 240 miles, but if you go to the Marin Headlands, you know, you can go to Mirror Woods and see like the Sequoias or the Redwoods. I can't remember which. So I was happy to find like this, this style of um, postcard. It's like the linen paper. So this is a National Gallery of Art in DC and it has writing on the back 1943 the Pentagon I have a cousin that works at the Pentagon um I've seen it obviously I've not been in it but I've seen it that's just like fucking massive building um 1944 and then I found this one of Hawaii now I you know I completely forgot to go and look at the other states because I would there was just so much I mean I was like digging through this 25 cent bin and I probably was sitting there for like 40 minutes just going through it so I the thing is still going on tomorrow so I may go back we'll see but then here's some of Venice um I picked these because it reminded me of the series on Netflix Ripley you know um because the series ends in Venice and so um yeah I just, I just wanted to get those. My parents have been to Venice, but that was like, God, 15 years ago, probably. This one, it was beautiful. I just liked it because it's, you know, kind of old fashioned it's watercolor. It's the Smoky Mountains. And then I like this one. I like postcards like this, you know, like this is the Flatiron Building in New York. And this has like glitter on it too. And look at that, that old style, it says postcard. It says domestic one cent, foreign two cents. <laughs> so and then we have the Statue of Liberty. And then I have here um, this cactus garden, which I just love the look of it. You know, and then it's from 1910. Again, fountain pen. Look at how beautiful that handwriting is, the way she wrote that. We've got more Christmas. I thought this one was nice. 1913 and then the chrysanthemums is it no poinsettia sorry <laughs> and see how it's embossed um this one is the lincoln lincoln memorial viewing the washington monument oh this one is i didn't even notice that windy city postcard show interesting huh We've got this birthday greetings one here. This one is beautiful. This would really look good, like in a junk journal. With the birds here. And then Chicago, the skyline. I love this one right here. I only picked it because of the view. <laughs> and look at that. This has to be like maybe Germany or something. And then this one, Argentina, I believe. That's beautiful. No idea where it, where in Argentina. Here's another one of Venice. This one, um, 
this one's in Japan. I'm gonna have to look up this sh um, this shrine where specifically in Japan it is. And then I love this one of the cherry blossoms over in DC. That's just beautiful. And then we have here an Easter. Another birthday one. This one's really, really, oh, no. Nope. So here we go. Tux postcard. I'm going to start, I'm going to look up some of these. Um, a Merry Christmas. Yeah, this is embossed. 1910. This one, obviously, look at that. It's a little rip, but it's still cute. And then this one. I love this look. And it's also, this was obviously in a scrapbook. You can tell. Um, this is one of my favorites. Just, I don't know. I just love the way that it looks. 1911. Here's another one of the Grand Canyon. And then a Grand Canyon again. This one is a, another view of the Cliff House. It's beautiful. Doesn't say what year. And then Niagara Falls. The Washington Monument again. This one, I just like the way it looked. It was, it's Horsetail Falls in Oregon. Uh, 829.43. This one is at Golden Gate Park. Another beautiful one on linen. 1948. We've got Greetings from Yosemite. On my bucket list, I want to go to Yosemite so bad. And then this one is beautiful. This is, um, I think it's German. I'm not sure. It says it right up there, but I can't really read that. And then we have this. This one is in Trieste. Not sure where that is in Italy, but very beautiful. And the last one here of Notre Dame in uh, Montreal, which I have been to. So yeah, so those are all the postcards that I picked up. I spent, oh God, should I even say how much I spent? Way more than I had intended. <laughs> Way more than I thought I would. It was a lot. But the thing is, is that the guy did say, um, fortunately, he told me this when I started going through, it was like, if you spend $20, you get 20% off. So thankfully I had that 20% off because I, I spent way more than $20. Okay. So while I was sitting at that table, there was a dealer next to him that had like three tables. And the guy was, is from Atlanta, Georgia, and he's quite a character. I could hear him like he was loudly talking to everybody that was coming up to his tables. And this guy, is he really knows his stamps. He really knows his history. Because I was just listening to him as he was talking to people and they were looking at his stamps and stuff. So anyways, when I finally made it to his table one of his tables, I didn't realize that the table I was at was his. He came up to me because I was looking at these grab bags, right? And he was asking me what I was looking for, what I was collecting. And I told him, oh, nothing really. I mean, I'm just looking at the stamps because I like to use them, you know, in my artwork, you know, like collage work. And he said, this, these are perfect for people that do collage work, do junk journals. I was surprised he even knew what junk journaling was, but apparently he does. And because a lot of people, a lot of them buy these type of bags. And he said that he just, you know, these are, um, this is one pound of stamps, right? So $20. He had like this giant box full of stamps, but they were not loose like this. They were cut off from like envelopes and stuff. And they were 10 cents each or like you could like he could put together a bag for you based off the weight from that box. But they were like they were just such an eclectic mix. It was like U.S. and then worldwide that I didn't really want to waste my time going through it, try to pick. And so he had all these grab bags, but most of them were U.S. Fortunately, he said it's a good thing that he did bring some worldwide ones because he just didn't realized that he had a whole bunch of us ones so he was offering to like put together a, a bag for me if i wanted more than just a 20 you know one pound he could do like a three pound or a five pound good lord five pounds of stamps he said that would last you three lifetimes i'm like yeah that would so um out of the four bags i opted for this bag because it didn't have as many of sets like this and it had more loose stamps he had um 
the other ones had more of these kind of sets where it's a complete set, right? So for instance, this one is like San Marino. Now, I don't know when he typed this, but some, I mean, it's, he obviously put what they're worth, you know? So this whole thing right here supposedly is worth like $15. Um, but he probably has so many of these sets that, you know, just get rid of them. So there you go. That's like a complete set. Um, but, you know, I told him I want, I like, I want a big variety and different colors, you know? And so, um, yeah, he said, well, then this is probably the best bag for me. This one's of the Vatican, which is kind of cool. So I haven't, I mean, this is the first time I'm opening this bag. So yeah. Ooh, I like how antique they look, you know, and they've got the emblem and all that stuff. And then there's envelopes like this, 18 Chile, you know, stamps. So, oh, okay. So they're all still in, oh, they're on sleeves or whatever you want to call it. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. So there's like a ton of like this kind of stuff in the bag. Uh, San Marino again, such a small country. <laughs> and yet there's a bunch of these stamps. I don't know where this one is from, but let's see. There's only one in there. Hmm. Don't know. I'll probably have to do like Google lens or something to identify some of them. Cause I'm just curious. I don't really care about the worth of them unless it is worth a lot of money. Oops. Sorry. Like, yeah. fell. And this one is Senegal. That's kind of cool. They're wrestling, it looks like. But, um, yeah. So, ooh, wow. That's a ginormous one. I want to have to give this one to my mom. She likes ducks. She'll probably want that. And then here's another one that's really big. I wonder, Caracas? Wow, that one's nice. Panama. Okay. That's really nice. So yeah, I mean, you can see, I'll just never need stamps ever again. <laughs> There's just so many here. I mean, I will probably sort these out based off of color because that would just make it easier because that's, um, and then if I do see like themes like, you know, Christmas or something, I'll sort them out that way too. Um, cause yeah, wow, this is so much i'll have to get my niece my oldest niece to help me she likes sorting stuff um so she might help me we'll do that maybe like when it's i don't know in winter or something or i'll just do if i get snowed in iced in more like that during the winter so after that i went you know walked around to the other tables and um it was all mostly stamps there weren't any more postcards i did you know meet a couple of interesting characters, I will say, because, you know, they're, these are old people and they're so enthusiastic about stamps. And so, um, yeah, so I was like talking with a couple of them. I met this really, really, really nice old lady who was, when I was, uh, going through the postcard, she was also looking at postcards and buying some, and, you know, she was curious. She asked me what I was looking for. And then she was, you know, telling me, um, about some of the postcards and stuff. And so, um, yeah, I mean, it was really interesting. You know, if you're like into history, I think it's a great place to go because obviously stamps have a lot of history, you know, um, about, you know, about how they're made, why they're made, you know, who they represent, that whole thing that really fascinated me. And then, um, you know, just the people in general, it was just really fun, even though there weren't a lot, it was still fun to just go and check out. So, um, so yeah, so I got these and then they had an exhibit of like, um, of stamps and I have footage that I filmed at the um, show. So I don't know, I might insert it before or after, probably after all of this. So, um, I did film a lot of that. And what I was really surprised was this, um, one exhibit of one, uh, what do you call the stamps from the Philippines during the, vol the Taal volcano eruption. And so you'll see that in the video clips that I I'll post. And so at the end, I did go back and get, um, 
I guess my video cuts out after a certain amount of time. I just happened to look at the screen and it had cut out. So I'm sorry. I don't know where I had cut off. But anyways, I had, um, after I'd looked at all the exhibits, um, which you'll see in video after this, um, I went, you know, back towards the entrance exit and they had all this stuff laid out on the tables that were apparently free and they had even more free stamps. And so at that point I was kind of like, well, damn, I just spent $20 on a bag of stamps in here. I'm grabbing more stamps, but I think these are all U S stamps. So yeah. So I just went ahead and grabbed two more and then they had these books, um, also for people to pick up. So these were free. This one is on um, probably all of the stamps that were issued with Queen Elizabeth II. And I think that's really cool. Because if you've watched The, um, the Crown on Netflix, you know that there's a couple of um, scenes where she's posing for like either the stamp or the coin, something like that. And yeah, it was just kind of fascinating. So you basically are seeing her her life, you know, through the stamps, how she's aging. And so, yeah, I thought this is kind of neat to just, you know, pick up. So that was free. They also had these two. The guy that um, was at the table had came up and told me that everything was free. And these were for kids, you know, it's a little stamp album for them put their stamps in. And I thought, oh, that's cute. I'll just go ahead and get two. I don't know if my niece who's going to help me sort all of these gets interested. I'll give her one of the albums. All right. And then the last thing that I found was this book. And I was rather surprised that these are, you know, this is one's from just this past July, but I guess these stamp collectors get a ton of them for free. I don't know, but they were giving them away. And so this one's for worldwide stamps, you know, and I thought, this is really cool. You know, it shows the stamps and their worth and all that stuff. So, yeah. So I went ahead and got that. I mean, I, can, I could always, like, cut it up if I need to, to use it for collage work. So, yep. So that is my haul from this stamp and postcard um, show. Really interesting. I hope that they have it again, because if they do, I may go back. I will try not to buy any stamps. And if I do pick up any, I'll just do the free packs because I really don't need any more like, you know, like these. I mean, I already have like, look, I purchased these from Etsy um, during the pandemic, I think. Or no, it was before the pandemic. So I put them in a box like this. See, like these are all Christmas stamps and you can see how much I have in there. So, um, you can, you know, Etsy is a good place to look if you're interested in getting some stamps for junk journaling and collaging and you want it by theme. I also have one that's like space related and then some that are, uh, what else did I get? I got some from the Philippines. I got some from, um, based off a of color, they'll sell like sets of you know like in different you know just like certain colors like you can get them all red you can get them all green stuff like that and then of course like you know florals whatever you name it but um i wouldn't go too crazy because like like this set i think i got i spent like maybe three dollars or something you know so um yeah so you know just don't spend too much because they're not really worth i think much especially if they're throwing in a bag like this you know um but yeah, it was, it was actually pretty cool. I enjoyed my time there. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this haul and please like comment and subscribe. Okay. Bye.